Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here in Washington, D.C. at the Direct Selling Association with Mr. Joe Mariano. Joe, thank Eric, you for joining us. My pleasure. He's the president of the Direct Selling Association. We just finished an epic, unbelievable, awesome interview for the Network Marketing Documentary that's coming out this November. And um, <clears throat> Joe is working tirelessly on all of our behalf to raise the profession, raise the tide for our whole profession from, from a company perspective, also from a distributor perspective, helping to set the standards, helping to be able to create uh, uh, the right guidelines, the right ethics, promoting the right education, doing some amazing work. And uh, we all need to be grateful. And I know out as, as distributors, most of you take what he does for granted. This is something that's done to, you know, he works with the companies and that all kind of takes care of itself. But, but I want to tell you that, that this is something that all of us need to be mentally engaged in. We need to be mentally um, motivated to help them do their work. Uh, explain to people just in a nutshell, <coughs> what it is that the Direct Selling Association does and why the distributor, the sales force, should care. Well, you know, DSA, the Direct Selling Association, has been around over 100 years. We celebrated our 100th anniversary in 2010. And the, the, the reason we exist is to police, promote, and protect the direct selling business. Uh, promote it here in Washington and in state legislatures with the press and otherwise to make sure the government regulation uh, doesn't hurt our businesses and in fact helps our businesses. To promote our businesses and protect our businesses uh, in that venue but also with members of the press so you often see misunderstandings and misstatements about direct selling, uh, lack of appreciation of direct selling. So we're there to assist in that but also to police the direct selling business. You know, our companies, our members of the association are absolutely devoted to the well being of the sales force. We understand at the association and I think in the member companies that the core of the business really is the sales force, is all of you. And so we want to make sure that uh, we're extending protections to consumers of our product as well as the consumers of our opportunity, folks like direct sellers and hopefully all of you who are watching. Right. And um, Joe's going to be coming to the event, GoPro Recruiting Mastery, November 20th through the 23rd, and speaking on what's happening from the Direct Selling Association <coughs> pardon me, uh, perspective when we premiere the documentary uh, that everybody's so excited about. Um, talk to people, just give people in a nutshell where you see our profession going. Uh, we talked about this tipping point uh, over the course of the last hour or so. Where do you see direct selling is uh, when it comes to reaching that tipping point? Well, I think direct selling, what everyone of you does, is really at a, an opportune moment. I think we're having great success right now in the marketplace, and I think over the next five years we'll have even greater success. I think we'll be a bigger part of America, we'll be a bigger part of the global economy, and we'll have more opportunities for all of you and the people in your sales organizations. I think one of the reasons for that is because uh, we're embracing direct selling, and more people are embracing direct selling as something that is uh, completely consistent with their lifestyles, their need for entrepreneurship, their, their desire to succeed at any level and in every level. But it also depends upon the professionalization and the continuing sophistication of, of individual direct sellers as part of these businesses. Whether it's here in Topeka, Kansas, Washington, D.C., or, or Delhi, India, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're seeing that on a worldwide basis. So that's, I think, the tipping point that we both hope to see, and I'm confident we will see. Yeah, I think a combination of what's happening with companies, setting the standards, changing perceptions in the world, I hope the documentary helps in tipping the public perception a bit for your prospects, for, for yourselves, for everybody else that's out there, the media. Um, and also the biggest thing, I think, is for all of you who desire to become network marketing professionals, that you really work on your skills, that you represent us well, that you, when you go out there, you're not just representing your business, your distributorship, you're representing us as a profession and that you, you'll continue to work on your skills to represent us well. Because when that happens, when enough people show up professionally, sharp, skills on point, not over promising, doing all the right things, people go, oh, maybe this is, maybe I need to take another look. 
uh, I think that's where we're headed. So um, that's our show. I just wanted to, to introduce you to Joe and, um, and share with you that he's going to be at the event and also uh, let you know that uh, his participation in the documentary is truly uh, amazing, uh, the content that he, that he just shared with all of us. So that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Our wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.